Hey, what's up everyone? This is Matthew Dale, and recently I used my Axe FX to be my mixer in my main PA for a solo wedding gig that I did. Let's dive in. I'll show you how I did it in Axe Edit. Uh, but before we get started, if you want some great go-to settings for some of the amazing amplifiers that are in the Fractal universe, go ahead and hit the link in the description box below to download my Fractal Favorite Amps and Cabs Guide. I've got some great go-to settings for some amazing tools tones and some cabinets that go along with those amplifiers really well. All right, so here is what I have set up in here. It looks a little bit complicated, but I'll run you through what I got going on here. So uh, in one is my guitar. I'm running through a compressor block and then the amp and no cab because I'm just using my acoustic here because I was playing, you know, a lot of pretty things for this wedding. <laughs> stuff like that. So I'm just using the tube pre and that gives you a really nice clean somewhat tube hi-fi audio quality amplification. Uh, I've got the treble boosted up a little bit since this is kind of a mid-rangey piezo pickup setup and I'm taking out some bass and mids. And then I've got a parametric EQ to further the control that I got going on for the guitar stuff. Multi-band compressor if I... <laughs> I'm doing stuff like that. If I'm doing a lot of palm muting, that seems to help out. A looper in here to um, help me dial in tones. So I can record something, go walk in the room. Uh, since I'm usually doing stuff like this myself, um, I, you know, I, I'm I'm my engineer. I'm the player. I'm the DJ. Yada yada. I'm the guy. So I can record the guitars here, hear how it sounds in the room, and then go from there. And then I've got some time-based effects just to give me a little bit of space since I'm playing some solo arrangements. A little bit of medium hall reverb, and then a little bit of tape just for that. Um, you know. <laughs> A little bit of nice space there. And then in input three, I've got a mi I've got this microphone, a wireless microphone, and the Axe FX doesn't have any built-in mic pre's, but on a wireless microphone like this Shure GLDX, um, you can actually send line level from it, which is great for using the Axe FX. So I am sending this line level into input three, and I've got just a bit of compression and EQ going on here just to give this a little bit of some mic treatment. I could go a little bit more aggressive on the compressor. I could cut some more lows and some more highs. And for this particular wedding gig, I was just using this as like a speech mic, you know, so for announcements, um, toasts, that sort of thing. I wasn't doing any singing on this. If I was singing on this mic, I might go ahead and either tie into my existing delay in reverb, or I might just do another chain of its own delay in reverb so those can blend really nicely together. Um, but this worked out really well for announcements and toasts and stuff like that. And then input two is actually my iPad. So I was kind of DJing this wedding as well, and I, I'm using the term DJ loosely because I was just operating, I was just running a Spotify playlist, but I ran it all through the Axe Effects, which limited the amount of things that I needed. In my Axe Effects rack, I've got my wireless guitar rig, so I got that in there. I've got the wireless mic rig, and then I used input two on the Axe Effects just to run the backing tracks. And if I go over, you'll see they're kind of running right now. But the mixer block, of course, if we're using the Axe FX as a mixer for a PA, we're going to want to use this mixer block. So if I go ahead and go over to row five, now all of these rows down here correspond to all of these rows over here. So from the top, row one, two, three, four, five, and six are going to correspond to all of the rows over here. So if I bring up row five, you're going to hear the iPad come in. And we can operate this much like we would like a really small six channel mixer or something. 
But we can actually go a step further. Remember, I was mentioning I was kind of the only guy on site operating all of this stuff. And I don't want to spend time, like if I need to turn on the tracks when I'm not playing, or if I want to mute my guitar or anything else, I don't want to go down to my Axe FX and twist a bunch of knobs and go through menus or something. So I've actually used the control switches to do a lot of this stuff for me. Now the biggest thing I wanted to do was actually set up an auto fade on the iPad so I didn't need to fade this in like a fader. I wanted the Axe Effects to do everything for me. So over here on row five, we are going to go ahead and select control switch one and this is gonna do a lot of the work for me. Now this is great because the mixer can turn everything down 100%. So what I'm gonna do here is set up this fade like this. Control switch one, we're operating. I'm gonna go over here to the dampening and or the damping sorry and we're gonna set that up for linear so it's just like if I'm moving a fader with my finger and let's say we want around like you know a three and a half second fade in and a three and a half second fade out this is all controlled by the damping here so now check this out I've set this up on my FC controller to operate on a switch so when I press my corresponding foot switch it's gonna come in and bring the track in by itself just like if I'm operating fader and then if I want to play again, I can hit off, and now I can go back. To playing, if I stop playing, I hit it in, and now we have a fade, just like if I had a front of house engineer. But I don't, it's just me, in the accidents. Now I'm gonna set up something similar on my guitar and my microphone. Let's do the microphone first. This is coming in row one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go up to the mixer, row four. We're gonna set this to control switch three. And this one is really simple. It's either on or off. So I've got it on. I've got a switch on the FC controller. And now I turn it back on and you can hear me again, right? That's just a simple mute. That's if, you know, someone doesn't turn this off or I don't turn this off. I've got control on the fractal. Now the guitar mute can be a little bit tricky here because I'm operating the delay and reverb in parallel, but there's a couple of benefits there that I wanted to show you guys. So right now my guitar is coming in from row two. So I'm gonna go to row two and we will set this up. Let's do control switch two. And now I've got a guitar mute, but check this out, right? So my guitar is on. But when I turn the guitar off, the only row that is muted is, well, row two, the guitar. So you still hear the reverb and delays. That can be, be kind of nice, but if I'm playing, I'm done playing you can still hear the reverb and delay uh, decay naturally but they're still on so what I can do is on row one and row three where delay and reverb are positioned on the grid let's do the same thing control switch two but let's do another auto fade let's just do somewhere around two seconds or so Again, linear is gonna be what you want here. Otherwise, exponential just might take forever to go from the you know, 98% all the way up to the full 100 or vice versa. So I'm gonna do linear here and on the other row, row three, same thing, control switch two, linear and around two seconds or so. So now I'll still have a pretty natural decay of the reverb and delay, but they are fully muted. Now I'm gonna bring the guitar back in and you'll see the corresponding faders kind of bring it up. And then guitar off and everything fades out nice. iPad coming in nice and clean. And there's some tracks and let's say I want to just break and mute everything while the tuner's right there. And that'll kill everything as well if you want like a master break if, you know, something goes wrong. Take the iPad out, 
My name is Matthew Dale. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you want some killer go-to settings for some great fractal amplifiers and some great sounding cabs, remember to download my guide in the description link below. Hope this was helpful for you guys. If you do a lot of solo gigs like I do, you can run a ton of stuff through the Axe FX. My name is Matthew Dale. I'll see you on the next one.